You're watching the SCAC Player of the Week interviews. It's week two of the SCAC basketball season, and today we're joined by the SCAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week, junior guard Michael Wamsgoms of the University of Dallas Crusaders. And Michael, congratulations, and thanks so much for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me, Russell. Michael, before we get into the specifics of the team's success to open up the year, I just want to ask about, you know, opening the season, the excitement, expectations. Uh, are there still nerves, though, when it comes to that first tip of the season? And, and how nice is it to finally be back uh, into season and plan uh, and full-time action again? You know, it feels good just to be able to play again. Uh, we had a month there where it was just us playing against each other every day. So, you know, finally getting into the games and, you know, being able to start off, get off to a good start against some other teams and uh, see, some, see some success on the court has been, uh, it's been promising for us so far. You talk about that strong start, Michael. This group is off to a 3-0 and start for the second time in the last three years with wins over Arlington, Baptist, Hendricks, and Southwestern Aventus. How good does it feel to get off to this start and what has been key from a team perspective to this 3-0 and mark? You know, it does feel good to get off to a 3-0 and start, but I don't think any of the guys on our team are satisfied. Uh, guys are coming in every day to practice, continuing wanting to work, uh, get better. You know, we watch some film about things we need to get better on. Uh, but, you know, being able to get off to that 3-0 start, I think it does bring a little bit of pressure off of us, uh, just being able to get off to that. So hopefully just continue to build from here. Individually, last week you were outstanding, Michael, uh, averaging 20 points, 8 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 2.5 steals per game, just filling up the stat sheet, including a double-double in that win over Hendricks with 20 and 11. How much confidence did you get individually from, from the start of the season that you've had, and what's key uh, to your individual success over these first couple of games? Uh, you know, I think my individual success just really comes from uh, what our team's been able to do so far. Uh, I got a lot of guys around me that are able to make it easier on me uh, able to get me the ball in the right spots, able to help make plays for one another. So uh, when I'm able to get off to a start like this, I think that uh, I get confidence from it. It gives our team confidence. So it just makes things easier on everybody. Finally, Michael, uh, as we look ahead to the rest of the season, now about 10 days off until you and the rest of your teammates get back to action. You head out to L.A. for a couple of games out in California against Whittier and Chapman after the Thanksgiving break. You know, what's key over these next handful of days to sort of let this momentum continue to carry over into that big road trip? But how do you kind of keep up the, uh, the energy that you've shown over these first you know, week and a half to, to let that continue with the days off? Uh, you know, I think these next 10 days are really important for us. Uh, I think in order to keep up that energy, it's just, you know, coming to practice every day, ready to work, uh, ready to get better and uh, work on things that, you know, maybe we haven't done as well so far in the season. So I think it's a big opportunity for us to uh, continue to build and uh, just continue to push as we go into this trip to L.A. and as conference is right around the corner as well. Now it's time for the fastest minute in all Division Three sports. That's right, it's the SCAC 60, a chance for you, SCAC Nation, to get to know your SCAC players of the week a bit better. Michael, are you ready? I am, yeah. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock, and here we go. Michael, what's your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Uh, my favorite thing to eat for breakfast is eggs and bacon. Do it today or wait till tomorrow? Do it today. When it comes to cell phones, would you rather text or talk? Uh, I'd rather text. Time travel, are you headed to the future or to the past? Uh, I'll go back to the past. Favorite social media platform that you use? Uh, Instagram. The lake or the ocean? Ocean. Best dancer on the team? Best dancer on the team? Uh, uh, Dustin Mathis. Favorite Thanksgiving dish with the holiday coming up? Uh, stuffing. Be favorite class that you're currently taking there at Dallas? Uh, my favorite class right now is uh, probably our communications class in the business school. And that will wrap up the fastest minute in all Division Three sports, the SCAC 60. Again, this week we were joined by the SCAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week, junior guard Michael Wamsgoms of the University of Dallas Crusaders. Michael, again, congratulations on your honor and best of luck as you continue to move forward throughout your junior season. Thank you very much.